Coronation Street and tonight things are set to get even worse as Simon and Peter go missing. Peter, it's me. I spent the afternoon down the mortuary with your dad, identifying a body I thought was you. So enough excitement for one day. If you wouldn't mind ringing me back, tell me where you are and what time you're bringing Simon back, if that's not too much trouble. He's a selfish, self-obsessed pig. He's selfish and he's spiteful. And today he's put us through torture, literally. Do you know what? This isn't by accident. I threatened to take Simon away, so he's just trying to get his own back. Wow. And Coronation Street's Leanne, actress Jane Dunson, is actually... I've been telling you all morning that she's going to be here, and now she is. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Wow, I mean, oh, I mean, this storyline has just been fantastic. A fantastic view as an actress. Oh, it's been but a joy. absolutely heart-wrenching, isn't it? Because I swing the whole time with who I'm with, because yeah. Peter's a mess, but absolutely. He's, a, he's a sweetheart underneath it all, isn't he? I think what's been particularly brilliant about this story is you can see it from everybody's point of view. Exactly. You know, main, the four main characters are Simon, Carla, Peter and Leanne, and you can see it from every single point of view so but that's why we stay with it isn't it that's what's so brilliant about coronation street is that we believe in the character and we care about each character yeah. even if we don't like them and one minute you like you're in favor of one and yes. the next you're in favor of another and because the storyline has gone on for so long people have really invested in it mm. and we've had a great response and it's been brilliant to do i'm mm. um, quite sad as well Really, and that little boy. I, I mean, know. he's. Is, I've really enjoyed watching him grow as an actor. Oh, actually, hasn't he? He's yeah. really coming. to He's um, very powerful. He's been on the show almost half his life already. Yeah, which is astonishing. And he's he's so good. And he doesn't just come in and say, "Can I have a biscuit, please, Mum?" He drives the scenes a lot of the time. And he's got a lot of lines to remember. And mm. he's only ten. Um, so, so do you feel sometimes you almost see him more than your own kids? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, of, of late, in the last few months, it's been yeah. so full on. But, yeah, Alex and I have spent a lot of time together. Um, now that the storyline has come to an actual end, I've had a bit more downtime and I'm back yeah. with my own children. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's been wonderful as an actor, but it's, it's nice to have that balance of... Well, I think that well. you have an amazing relationship together. It literally pours my heart to pieces when, you know, when you lost him, when, when he went off to live with uh, Carla and Peter. Now he's back with with you yeah and you're back with me i know, I know. do you have to be oh, well it's all a bit of a mess oh, isn't no. it <laughs> um, is course, it just because she wants a bit of stability to keep hang I think on so. she wants that family unit mm. that she never had as a child and with simon and nick that's the next best thing to peter and even though nick's lovely and she she's very fond of him I don't think she's really in love with him. Do you think she still fancies Peter then? Is that what the thing is? Whatever hurt. he does, she's the one. Yeah, I think mm. I think they've she's hurt I'm by what he's done. Obviously she's no saint either. But she's hurt by what, what he's no, done. Well I think she's quite saintly actually. Even though well, she's had a she's, she's had a past, <laughs> whereas we all know. But she's always been very true. She's a great character. She's what I love about her is that she's, she does redeem herself mm. with each storyline. She she there is emotion there and she she just wants to be loved. She's mm. always been abandoned throughout her whole life mm. um, and with Peter she, she did mess it up initially but mm. she rebuilt that and she she just wants that stability in that family life and I think for me ultimately doing this storyline it's it's so sad to see the breakdown of this family unit mm. it's it happens it's real exactly. life exactly again that's well that's why we love Corrie so much yeah. and we can relate it to our lives now you it's been 15 years <gasps> now I I mean I've watched you right the way through but when I actually read the notes for 15 years that's so Whopping it's time in, in oh, it. Yeah, it's... And when you originally came in the Battersby, Battersby family, <laughs> oh, I think we've got a picture. picture. Look, I bet you hate that when that oh, comes I up. It. I think it's great. Magical moment, though. Magical. Who, what's the girl that played your sister? She oh, was fantastic. Georgia. Yeah. Because you're still mates with yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, and Vicky as well. We're very close. So would you like it if they came oh, back? My dream. Really? My dream, yeah. We, we went through such a, an amazing time in our lives yes. together. I think we'll always have that bond. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a really special time, and I'm, I'm always kind kind of, you know, looking for the idea of them coming back to Corrie. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah. So do you see yourself staying long term? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I never anticipated being there for 15 years. I did take a, a short break uh, to have children and I was, I was out for a couple of years. Um, yeah, who knows what, what the future will bring, mm. but as long as you know, I've got this great character and they want me there, then I'm happy exactly. to be there. Exactly, great character, yeah. great writing. And I would imagine that it works quite well, because you've got two young boys, yeah. haven't you? Is yeah. it, you can probably manage it quite well. Like you say, there's very intense time of work yeah. and then you get nice downtime. Yeah, and I think the, the main thing for me is I go home every night and as a job in actor, that would be very difficult yes. to do. Yeah. Um, and with them being so young, I, I just want to be with them and, and go home yeah. every night and, and that suits me. And, you know, I think... I need them as much as they need me, so yeah. it's, it oh, works absolutely quite well. Work, totally works. But I come home and mummy's home, and they yeah. were like, "Oh yeah, all right." <laughs> <laughs> 
So do you have like a, I remember when I was in East Enders, we had a crash, and I was thinking, oh, I wish I had a child now just so they could go to the East Enders crash. Do you oh, have one no, in Corrie? We don't actually. Oh, That's right. something that we, we've all because we've all lots of us have got very small children. Yeah. Um, some of school age and some preschoolers. Um, something that would be fantastic, but it's just not happened as yet. But uh, yeah, I think it would be a great move. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're pushing for it, you see? A crash, you need it. <laughs> now, is your little boy's birthday this weekend? It is, is on Saturday. Is the weather going to be a nightmare for you? So far, every birthday's had, it's been gorgeous. So I'm holding out for some sun. <laughs> and and what do they think of... So, so how old are they? Um, Harry's six on Saturday and oh, my youngest yeah. Sam is three. Yeah, I've got nine and nine and four, and the nine-year-old is just starting to become aware that I'm on television because yeah, of the people. Say, yeah. Have you had that yet? Because it's so much bigger for you being a on a soap. A little bit. I mean, he's he's mainly in bed when Corrie's on, so he might see me on on a magazine and say, "Why you want that?" And sometimes when people stop me in the street, he gets a bit confused. But um, yeah, he can't, he's aware of it, but it's not really had a massive impact. Does he on get him. protective? My children get furious when people come. <laughs> Talking to you, mummy. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a bit quizzical about it. He kind of says, "Well, why are they talking to you?" But he, he'd rather watch cartoons. So Does he get really jealous of your boy? Because I remember uh, the boy that plays your son. Because I remember my father was an actor when he used to do scenes with other children. I used to get really jealous. Well, I was watching it on on the planner the other day. Um, during the day, and my youngest just said, "That's not Daddy." When I was oh. with Nick, so I was like, "Oh, oh better yeah. fast forward this bit." <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it's been an absolute joy having you here. Oh, I'm such a fan you. of yours, and oh, I look forward to you. watching the rest of Storyland. Thank you so much, Dave. Have a great nice weekend. You. Thank you. Now, ten thousand pounds cash and a family holiday.